Hello, I'm Caitlin Lowens and I serve as TheaterWorks' artistic director. And I am Melody Silverio, I am TheaterWorks Special Events and Content Coordinator. And we are here to talk to you about the six fantastic shows in the 24-25 TheaterWorks subscription season. We're going to kick the season off this fall with Henry. Uh, it's an amalgamation of Henry IV Parts 1 and 2, as well as Henry V, and a little sprinkle of Richard II, directed by Max Schulman of the Visual and Performing Arts Department and a frequent theater works collaborator. Um, and it's going to have some meditations on themes of leadership and power uh, and, and national identity at a time when we here in the States might be thinking about those themes. I don't, I don't know. Fall 2024, what could be happening? Who knows? Who knows? Then we're going to follow it up at the holidays with our second show of the season, Sense and Sensibility, adapted by Kate Hamill from the novel by Jane Austen. And that takes Kate Hamill, the playwright of our smash hit Little Women from a few seasons ago, and pairs her with Jane Austen, the playwright of the author of Sense and Sensibility and Pride and Prejudice, for a story of two sisters, Marianne and Eleanor Dashwood, who are looking for love on the London marriage market. And do they find that romantic love? Maybe. But no matter what, they are going to find their sisterly love as they connect more to each other during a hilarious but also turbulent time in their lives full of romance and wit and comedy and horses. Surprise. Uh, then in January, we will move on to The Heart Sellers by Lloyd Sa, a new play about two recent immigrants, one from the Philippines, one from Korea, who find themselves coming together around Thanksgiving dinner and around the cooking of a mostly frozen turkey, but also around themes of family and belonging and home and what it takes to build a home um, in a space that you've adopted. For any of you who joined us for Aubergine in last season, it'll have some of those same connections of family and food and culture. Mm -hmm. Speaking of things that connect to last season, we're again journeying up to the Osborne Studio Theater, where we'll be presenting our next show of the season, which is an adaptation of The Turn of the Screw, adapted by Jeffrey Hatcher, from the spooky ghost story novella by Henry James. For anyone who's a fan of spooky films, spooky television shows, this follows one governess and her two charges in a house that is almost definitely haunted. But the particular way in which this story is adapted and in the intimate space of the Osborne Studio Theater will make it a production that you won't want to miss. Then we'll move back down to the Dusty Lou for Silent Sky by Lauren Gunderson, a playwright some of you may remember from The Half-Life of Marie Curie last season. Um, and this is a play about female astronomers in the early 1900s, real historical figures who made some discoveries around um, seafood stars that we are still using in the way that we map and understand the skies today. And that'll also feature some familiar faces. Prentice Benjamin, who starred in Half-Life of Marie Curie, will be joining us along with four other wonderful actors in the Silent Sky cast. And then we'll be finishing up the 24-25 season with Flying West by Pearl Cleage, directed by Marisa A. Bear. And this play by one of the 20th and 21st century's most prolific and respected African-American playwrights takes us to the town of Nicodemus, Kansas in the 1890s, where three Dove sisters are trying to homestead and forge a new life when speculators start coming in from out of town looking to buy up their land. And not only is this a story of sisterhood and also examines a sort of underseen corner of American history, it also has some influences drawn from melodrama. So it's perfect for Western audiences and Colorado audiences who want their serious subjects, but they also want it with a healthy dose of humor and a little bit of mustache twirling villainry as well. So that represents the six shows in the 24-25 theater works season, which means that now you should be very excited to become a theater works subscriber. In addition to those six shows, Lily, what else is amazing about being a theater works subscriber? Subscribers get the best seats, subscribers get free drinks, subscribers know in advance that they have all of this fun theater to look forward to. Um, you'll get robocalls, you'll get the opportunity to change shows up to right before the show, all sorts of exciting benefits. And if you subscribe right now before May 31st, you'll get your early bird rate, which is the cheapest the theater works tickets will be available for the rest of the season. So don't wait. Thank you all so very much. And we can't wait to see you at the theater.